Hey, Sakita, I think we should break up. What? This person who is breaking up with me out of nowhere was my first girlfriend since graduating college and becoming a working adult. My girlfriend was beautiful, and I was just a normal, nerdy gamer boy. I always knew that my girlfriend was out of my league, but I really liked her. More than anything, I was happy that we shared the same hobbies. Or at least, that's how I felt. But it turns out I was the only one that felt that way. Why? You really have to ask that? But I mean, what? Did I do something wrong? That's exactly it. Look, do you remember what I asked for for our anniversary? Of course! You wanted to stay at the Hotel Reflect Tokyo for a night. That's why I even asked for a half day off from work, just to make the reservation. It was almost impossible to reserve there, and I had to fight tooth and nail! Yeah, I'm sure. And yes, you did manage to reserve the Hotel Reflect Tokyo for us. And what was the room you reserved? What do you mean, what room? I got the special collaboration room, the one that was the start of our relationship. The online game Black Black Dystopia. Who would have thought that they'd announce a collaboration at this timing? It feels like fate. There couldn't be a room more perfect for our anniversary, don't you think? See, this is exactly it. On our anniversary, a game collaboration room? Why? That's not what we're going there for. Everything is always games, games, games. Even when we go out somewhere, it's a game collaboration cafe or a game collaboration shop. I'm sorry, but honestly, I can't keep up. Reyna! So please, I'm done. We're breaking up. Reyna was glaring at me through her tears, and there was nothing I could say in response. She was absolutely right that I was in the wrong. Reyna spent three years by my side like this, and yet, I was never able to see how she was really feeling. This made me feel so pathetic. Reyna turned around and walked out the door, and I would never see her again. So that's what happened, and my girlfriend, Yoshi, broke up with me. I see, I see. So that's why Yashi left the Monocom family without saying anything. This is the world of the online game, Black Black Dystopia, my favorite game that I was obsessed with. Here, I wasn't the normal working guy, Sakuta Shirosaki, but instead, I was a beautiful white mage, Shiro Usagi. The person that I'm speaking to right now is my closest friend in our guild, the Monochrome family, the mighty black knight Kuro Ageha. They're the mainstay of the guild, and a reliable attacker with the greatest offensive power. Well, you're telling me, it sounds like you were in the wrong, Shiro Usagi. I know, I know. Oh, I'm sorry, would you mind reviving me? It looks like I collected too much hate, so I can't attack right now. Noted. Thanks. Now, back to the story. Do you really understand where you messed up the most, Shiro Yusagi? What do you mean? Is it that I chose the wrong room at the hotel? <laughs> nope. Wrong. That was just the trigger. My guess is that when Yashi left, she wanted you to chase after her. What I'm trying to say is, she was testing the balance between games and her. What's more important, me or your gaming? That's what she wanted to know, and yet, this was the result. Instead of going after her, you're here trying to complete the daily mission with me. That's why it's over. Wait, whoa, I got the golden fangs. Nice. Now I can make my new equipment with this. Really? Nice. That's exactly the point I'm trying to make. You know, Yoshi actually said that to me too. Twice even. I don't blame her. I would be pissed off too if I was a girlfriend and my partner chose games over me. That sucks. This might sound like an excuse, but it's not that games were more important to me than Yoshi. It's just that I thought Yoshi loved Black Black Dystopia as much as I did. Well, there are enough women out there as there are stars in the galaxy. I'm sure you'll find someone. Ah, Kuro Ageha. Thank you for letting me talk to you about this. I needed to get it off my chest. No worries, anytime. But not using the hotel reservation seems like a waste. Isn't that the collaboration that was trending on social media lately? I heard that it was a crazy fierce battlefield for the reservations and that they sold out within one minute of being released. Ah, I would have loved to go too. Oh, then do you want to go in my place? 
as a thanks for listening to my rant? What? Oh, no, 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 I can't do that. That's too much. Please, don't hesitate. I'm always causing you inconvenience in the game anyway. Plus, at this point, I don't think I would be able to enjoy it even if I went. I could auction the reservation to some reseller who's trying to benefit off of this. But I would much rather give it to someone who loves this game from the bottom of their heart as much as I do. But, but, to be honest, I don't have the money for it. Oh, don't worry about that, please. The reservation's been paid for already. Uh, but still, no, I'd feel too bad. Hmm. Okay, then why don't we do this? You can stay in the hotel, and you can get the limited edition goods that only people staying at the hotel can purchase, as a souvenir for me. How does that sound? Are you sure? Of course. I'd be happy if you can enjoy it for me. Well then, I'm going to gladly accept your offer. Thank you so much. I should be the one thanking you. This back and forth happened about a week ago. I got a message from Kuro Ageha that they had the best time in the collaboration room and that they wanted to meet up to give me the souvenirs. Kuro Ageha invited me to an offline meeting and that following weekend, we made plans to meet. When I thought about it, it's been almost two years since I teamed up with Kuro Ageha but it'll be the first time we were going to meet in person. Time flew by, and before I knew it, a week had already passed, and the day of our plans arrived. Over the last few days, I'd been thinking about what Kuro Ageha might look like, or what kind of person they might be. They're always calm and logical, and their advice is precise, and they really understand girls, but they're also really kind, even to nerds like me. There's also a good chance that Kuro Ageha lives in a completely different world from a shadow character like me. They might be the type of person to never speak to someone like me in this world. But one thing's for sure, our friendship that was born out of black, black dystopia was real. That was when... Um, excuse me? Hmm? How can I help you? Mister, are you by any chance Shiro Yusagi? I turned around, and the voice belonged to a little girl who looked like she was about 10 years old. Behind her was a woman more beautiful than anyone I had ever seen before. The two of them had very similar faces. Um, why yes, I am. But what does that mean? Apologies for the delayed introduction. Allow me to introduce myself. In this world, nice to meet you. My name is Asano Kurosawa, aka Kuro Aga. I'll be in the fifth grade this year. And this is... This is my older sister, Yumi Kurosawa. I'm sorry, she insisted that she wanted to come with me, so she forcibly tagged along with me today. Well, duh, if I knew that it was going to be such a fancy room, we wouldn't have expected such a generous offer. I'm Asano's sister, Yumi. Nice to meet you. Uh, um, I wanted to come thank you, too. I don't even know how to properly express our gratitude. Wait, 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 what? Kuro Ageha? You're in elementary school? Wait, and you're a girl? Yeah, didn't I mention it before? Or, eh, maybe I hadn't, I don't know. Because your avatar is such a manly character. But I could say the same for you. Shiro Yusagi is a female character. Well, I guess that's true, but... Anyway, who cares? None of that is important now. Oh, here, your souvenirs. I wanted to talk about the souvenirs and stuff with you, so if you have time, would you be down to get tea or something? I couldn't even wrap my head around the situation, but this was how our first offline meeting started. At first, I didn't know what to say or how to act, because the person who showed up was so far off from what I had imagined. But as we got to talking, it was the same crew Ageha that I was always talking to, and our conversation took off. Yeah, so the collaboration room was so amazing! It was literally exactly like the guild's resting area! Oh, how was the beef jerky? Oh man, it was so frickin' good! I'm glad. And did your sister have a good time too? No matter how hard I tried to invite my sister to play the game with me, she never will, but even she was really excited about the hotel room! Wait, whoa, sorry, I spilled the juice! Come on, what are you doing? Would you mind putting your hands up so you don't get wet? I'll wipe it with the napkin. Ugh. 
What? Oh, did my hand hit yours? Sorry about that. No, no, that was my fault. I I'm sorry. Ugh, I'm sorry, Mr. Shiyosaki. My sister has a weird complex about her hands. Sometimes people misunderstand, but you didn't do anything wrong. It's not like she doesn't like you. Asano! You see, my family, we're a single-parent household, so my sister has done almost everything around the house her whole life. And because of that, her hands are a little rough. She says she's embarrassed about it. I don't get it. She's so talented and has so much to offer, and yet she's never had a boyfriend. Asano, that's enough. Please don't embarrass me anymore in front of somebody we barely know. It's not embarrassing, and Mr. Shiyosaki isn't someone I barely know. He's my best friend. Plus, Mr. Shiyosaki might be oblivious to the subtleties of a girl's heart, but he's a genuinely good person, so if you just explain it to him, he'll understand. Right, Mr. Shiyosaki? I guess that's true. She's right. I don't know anything about what a girl wants, but Miss Kurosawa, uh, I mean, the older sister, I think your hands are very beautiful. Please don't say something you don't mean. I'm not lying. Because those hands are the hands that you've used to work hard and support your family. I don't think there's anything embarrassing about that. If anything, it's something you should be proud of. I'm sure you feel the same way, Miss Kurosawa. Yeah, yeah. Oh, you're talking about me at the end, right? It's confusing, so you can just call me Asano. But still, I can't help but be embarrassed by them. And I hate them, these ragged hands. After that conversation, the sister retreated and stayed silent. That continued the rest of the time until we left the cafe. Thank you so much for today! I had so much fun! Oh, before we part ways, can I have a little bit more of your time? Um, sure, but... Thanks. I'll be right back. I'm pretty sure that department store should have a good shop somewhere. Huh? Department store? I ran as fast as I could. Even then, I think I made the both of them wait around 10 minutes or so. I finally got back to the two girls, and I was both surprised and relieved that neither of them were in a bad mood. I'm pretty sure Reyna would get mad whenever I made her wait even just a little bit. Ah, welcome back. Thanks for waiting, Asano. Anyway, I got this for your sister. If you'd like, I hope you'll use it. Is this... What I was saying before really wasn't a lie. I'll say it again, but I sincerely think that your hands are really beautiful. So for the hard-working older sister, this is a present from me. The hand cream from this place has really good reviews. Wow, well done, Mr. Shiyosaki! Maybe you can give it a try. And I hope someday you'll be proud of those hands of yours. It's Yumi. What? I'm not just the older sister, you can call me Yumi. Can I call you Miss Yumi then? Sure, Mr. Shiyosaki, is that right? I, um, I think I just fell for you, Mr. Shiyosaki. What? Wait, seriously? If you'd like, will you please go out with me? Miss Kurosawa, I mean, Yugi, her radiant skin was burning redder than the sun at dawn. And then, Shiro Yusagi, you rejected my sister and ran off just like that. I'm so sorry. Well, she's not wrong. Just as Kuro Ageha said, even though I was able to get asked out by her beautiful sister, I rejected her. And not only that, but I ran away as fast as I could. So, yeah, did she do something wrong? Is someone like my sister not your type? No, no, that's not it at all. To be honest, she's very much my type. Actually, so much so that I got too nervous and I ran away. Oh, oh I see. That was a quick answer. That's why I, I was so happy when she asked me out. The rejection was entirely my own problem. I panicked. Reyna, who I had dated for three years, had been by my side all that time. And yet, I didn't understand anything about her. And then in the end, I hurt her and let her go. That's why I'm scared. I didn't want to repeat the same thing. As a guy, I feel so helpless and useless when I make a girl cry. It sucks! 
Well then, why don't you try to get to know my sister properly this time? Shiro Yusagi, you're the type of person who can genuinely apologize and make a change at the next opportunity, so I'm sure you'll be fine. Wait, Kuro Ageha, would you be okay with your sister dating somebody like me? If anything, I would feel a lot better if it was you, I think. Because I like people like you too. Oh, if you're into younger girls, would you just want to date me then? That is not a nice joke! Hey, I was half serious. But would you please tell your sister this for me? That I'm sorry I wasn't able to give her an answer, but I was really happy that she felt that way? Alright, anyway, let's stop talking about this. Should we go to capture the limited edition boss now? Okay, but I saw on the bulletin board that this boss is... Yep, they're saying that the operations team messed up the difficulty settings and that it's almost impossible to win against him. Because you'll get hit by a debuff that reaches your limit, your playing skills have to be top-notch, of course. But I read that the key to winning is teamwork. I see. Well, when you put it like that... Yeah, I can barely contain my excitement. We innocently went towards the boss, and we lost. Over and over and over again. Mr. Shirasaki seems pretty down again. I wonder if he's okay. Wasn't he like this recently, too? I heard that he was dumped by his girlfriend that time. Then maybe this time it's the same thing. If that's the case, even though he looks like he's going to sink into his seat, he still gets his work done. It's impressive. Hey, Kishibe. You do know that I can hear everything that you guys are saying behind me, right? We're letting you hear it. And why is that? Obviously, because we want to make it easier for you to talk to us if there's something bothering you. Why, thank you. But please, it's none of your business. That's right. It's none of their business. And there's no way that I could tell them either. How could I tell them that I rejected someone like Miss Yumi and that I regret it a little bit? But still, I'm too scared that I'm going to hurt Miss Yumi if I were to date her. And plus, I still think about Reina and... I know that face. You're thinking about your ex-girlfriend, aren't you? How do you know that? What are you, psychic? <laughs> you may not realize it, but you're so easy to read, Sakata. Well, I hope you can sort out those feelings inside of you soon. Otherwise, you can't move on to the next one, right? Kishibe, thanks. Sure thing. So I couldn't bring myself to tell Kishibe all of this, but there were three things clouding my mind right now. One, that I rejected Miss Yumi's feelings towards me. Two, that I still liked Reina and I couldn't forget her. But there was nothing I could do about those two. No matter how much I thought about it, they were all in the past anyway. However, just the third thing was different. Later, Kuro Ageha was losing to our enemies a lot. Their fighting stance sucked, and all of the movements were messy and the attacks disorganized. This was my third concern. Um, Kuro Ageha, are you okay? I'm fine. Did something happen? What do you mean something? Well, is there something on your mind? Lately you get defeated pretty easily, and your response time is slow too. And you're making simple mistakes with your motions too. If there's anything you want to talk about, you know, I'm always here. From there, it was silent for about five minutes, and Kuro Ageha had frozen. Actually... You hurt your hand? Yes, that's right. That's why I can't move it like I usually do. Then you should probably take a rest and not play the game for a while. But if I don't defeat the limited edition area boss with you, Mr. Shirasaki, then I'm definitely going to regret it. Plus, we need to collect new weapons, right? Hmm, true. We didn't know when they might bring back this boss character again. So as a gamer, I couldn't deny that I really wanted to defeat him now. That being said, Reina dumped me because of this. Because this was my way of thinking. I wasn't going to make the same mistake. The game is really important to me, but there are things more important than this. Well then, that's all the more reason to rest it sooner, so that you can get back into the game sooner in your best shape. If there's anything I can do to help, I will. So for now, let's be patient and take a break. Are you sure? Of course. Um, then, 
There is a favor I want to ask of you. Will you come grocery shopping with me? I wanted to ask if you could help me carry the bags. What? Uh, I see. Of course. Thank you so much. It'll be a huge help. I mean, I can help with anything, like gathering materials, within the game. Oh well. It'll be nice to get my mind off of all of this anyway. And so, I went to the supermarket where Kuro Ageha, rather, Asano, had told me to meet her. However, for some reason, it was Miss Yumi who showed up instead. Wait, Miss Yumi? Why are you here? What do you mean, why? We promised to meet here, didn't we? And then I realized. I see. That favor to go grocery shopping wasn't to go with Asano, but to go in her place to help her sister with the bags. Oh, nothing. It was my misunderstanding. Sorry about that. Shall we? You're really saving me. I couldn't let the sale today go to waste. Is... is that so? I'm glad I could be of some help. Mr. Shiyosaki, what's your favorite meal to have? Huh? Hmm, let's see, that's hard. But maybe it's a hamburger. <laughs> what is it? Oh, nothing, I just thought that was so cute. I see. Hamburger, is it? If I were to make it for you, would you eat it for me? Uh, uh, well... Would that be an inconvenience? No way! Well then, please let me make it for you sometime. Miss Yumi, your hands. Uh, you finally noticed. That's right. I've been using the hand cream that you gave me, Mr. Sakuta, and my hands have become so much better. Thank you. I see. That makes me happy to hear. I told you that you have beautiful hands. Thanks to you, I finally feel like I can use my own hands a little bit. When Miss Yumi said that and smiled, she was even more beautiful than what I remembered. And I was sure that there must be hundreds of other guys out there who felt this way about her. It made me realize that I'm not a man worthy of standing next to her. On one hand, I was relieved, but on the other, I had to admit that I was selfishly a little sad about it too. Is this everything? Uh, let me hold something. Don't worry about it. I may be a nerd, but I'm still a guy. If anything, I can easily hold another bag. What? How? Your hands are full. With my mouth. Ah! Uh... <laughs> You're always joking. I wasn't even trying to make a joke. Well, let's go have these on this one at least. Half seas? Um, Miss Yumi? Yes, what is it? Isn't this a little embarrassing? What is it? I'm just happy to be able to walk side by side like this with you. And I'm having fun. Oh, look, they're doing the lottery over there. Oh, they are. Wait, what? Standing right in front of me was none other than Reyna. She looked like she was having so much fun. Way more fun than I ever saw her have with me, and she was latched onto the arm of a man far more handsome than me. It looked like they had one pack of pocket tissues, but even then they looked like they were having the time of their lives. It didn't seem like she noticed me there, as they walked off. I felt a brief pain in my heart, but at the same time, I was genuinely happy to see Reyna smiling like that. Reyna had moved on, clear as day, and in that moment, I finally realized that it was over with her, that I was the one left with a broken heart. Is something the matter? Huh? No, it's nothing. But you kinda look like you're about to cry. No, no, not at all. Mr. Shirosaki, let's stop by the convenience store. Did you forget to buy something? Yes, we're going to buy happiness. Do they even sell that at the convenience store? Miss Yumi completely ignored my question, and she stormed off towards the convenience store. Oh, by happiness, you mean convenience store ice cream. Are you making fun of me right now? I don't mean to. Usually, we only buy ice cream at the supermarket when it's on sale. So convenience store ice cream is a super treat for the Kurosaka family, you know. We're only allowed to eat it for celebrations or when we're feeling really down. The vanilla flavor of convenience store ice cream is the flavor of happiness. 
Mmm, it's so good. I don't mean to be. Won't Asano be mad at you if she finds out? Exactly. So, will you keep this little secret between the two of us? A secret between the two of us, huh? That makes me blush. <laughs> Come on, don't you feel a bit better after that? <laughs> you might be right. Hey, Miss Yumi? What is it? Thank you. Thank you very much. You're welcome. I'm really happy that you're next to me right now, Miss Yumi. I felt that from the bottom of my heart. If I was by myself right now, I would probably shamelessly be crying on this bench right now. The ice cream that I had that day tasted like the sweetest ice cream I had ever had in my life. And just like she said, I guess this is exactly what people call happiness. It was the last day that we could challenge the boss back in Black, Black Dystopia. Asano's hand seemed like it was much better. And if anything, after her recovery, she was even better than she was before. We used the various materials that the two of us had collected to create a new large sword. And we waved it around with our spirits high. I stood next to her, ready for battle. In front of us stood the largest enemy we had ever faced before. But with Kuro Ageha at my side, I wasn't scared. We are going to win this. We have to! Yes, we have to. Um, Mr. Shiyosaki. What is it? If we win this battle, there's something I want to tell you. Hey, that's a death flag, you know. What? Is it? I didn't think about that, I'm sorry. But it's okay. I'm not worried. I know that we'll be able to get through this together. Yes, that's right. Well then, let's do this! Ugh! Kuroageha! Pull back so that you can recover! I can try to distract him and gain us some time! Thank you very much! Just as I thought, the White Mage's attacking magic still isn't enough to damage him at all! I'm sorry, I'll come back to the front lines. My buff is about to run out, so I'm going to cast the spell! Ah! Kuroageha! Incoming counterattack! Stand back! Yes! We're almost there! We can do this! Alright, just one more attack. But I can't get near him. If that's the case, then I have to go first. But then, Mr. Shirosaki, you... I'm going to use all of my remaining MP to defend. But even then, I think I can only get us about 10 seconds max. So Kuro Ageha... I got this. Before that, I'm going to take him down. The flames were closing in on us. Even if it's a game, I could feel the heat as I was drenching in sweat. In the real world, I would never stand a chance. But strangely... Knowing that Kuro Ageha was behind me gave me all the confidence to stand my ground. I think that this is what they call courage. Now! This is the end. Cleared. Cleared? Kuro Ageha's one last strike blew the boss into two pieces. And we finally heard the winning fanfare echo around us. The words stage cleared sparkled above our heads like it was our crown. We did it, Kuro Ageha! Yes, we did it! Oh, the drop item is the event special item, the Ring of Happiness. Ah, oh, I'm so happy! I've been wanting this for so long! Congratulations! For me, it was the armband of good luck. I... I see. Mr. Shiozaki, please let me say this one more time. I like you. Please go out with me, I swear on this ring to make you happy. Asano? No, it's me, Yumi. In the end, it turns out that this was what was going on. Over the last few days, the person controlling Kuro Ageha wasn't Asano, it was Miss Yumi. The reason I rejected Miss Yumi in the first place was because I didn't know her well enough. So Asano thought of this plan to make me get to know her sister faster by having her sister play this game with me. Obviously, that meant the hand injury was also a lie, and the reason why her playing was shaky was because the controller was genuinely a beginner. The more I thought about it, the more it all started to make sense. I thought it was weird that you started calling me by my real name in the game, and now it all makes sense. I'm sorry for lying to you, but I wanted Shiro Yusagi to understand my sister's feelings and get to know her more too. And then, my sister fell for you even more too. She really likes you, so that's why. Don't worry. I felt it all. Just a short while ago, she could only do beginner movements, but now she already has the skills where she can take down an area boss. Even if she was naturally good at games, 
She would never have been able to get to this level without a lot of hard work and passion. I thought about Miss Yumi and how she was feeling, and I wanted to repay her kindness towards me. I think this is what they call love. That's why I... Will you have some convenience store ice cream with me again? Does that mean... You said that the Kurosawa family has convenience store ice cream when you celebrate, right? Yes, I can't wait. Me neither. Oh, by the way, there's something I forgot to say, Miss Yumi. I like you too. This time, I won't mess it up. In the end, I heard Kuro Ageha say, Ice cream? What's he talking about? I need to hear more about this. And that was undoubtedly Asano speaking. That's why I said, Next time, Asano, you can come, and the three of us can have it. Caring for someone means also caring for the things that they care about the most. I think that's what it means to truly care about someone. And I want to care for everything about this girl that I like. 